Hi, Hi friends. Hello. I'm Ashley St. Clair. Savannah Octava. This is the hair and makeup team and photographer for your boudoir session. And today we wanted to chat with you today because like I said, we've been <laughs> doing this the whole day. Uh, we want to talk about wardrobe thoughts, options, answer any questions you have may lingering, uh, maybe lingering around your session. So, um, First, we wanted to start with nude. Nude is going to always be an option for a wardrobe choice. Mm -hmm. um, never forced on you. Correct. Always. It's never going to be our idea. Yeah, never. Ever. Never our idea. Always mm -hmm. like, it's going to be one of those things where you're like, you know what? Never done this before. I'm feeling really feisty. I'm feeling mm -hmm. really confident. I'm feeling really open to it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about, yeah, absolutely. Let's get you naked. Let's get you wrapped yep. in some black satin sheets. Or this is how the bathtub and the shower things happen. Yep. Yep. I do those. Um, that is an option to upgrade. You can do a bathtub set. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen them on the, the page. Also, um, shower, shower mm -hmm. sets are too. Yeah. So yep. that is the option for nude. Okay. So I wanted to also mention teddies versus baby dolls. So with teddies, um, I love what is the difference? What is the difference? So Teddy is going to really accentuate your curve. It's going to go along your body line and show us all the journey. It's like a really short slip. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait, no, that's a baby doll. Well, I thought slips were, were closer to your body. Mm -mm. You know, that you wore like underdresses going, not okay. like a petticoat thing. I mean, like, are you saying for teddies though? Yeah. So like a, a a baby doll is mm -hmm. the one that kind of comes that out. flares out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the teddy is the one that like stays close to you, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. But like normally teddies are like almost like a bodysuit. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So it'd be something like that has a snap crotch or something that you crawl into and snap on the back or whatever, but oh, it's just okay. body forming. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of different gotcha. versions of this. I love a teddy over a baby doll because a baby doll is not going to really hug your curves. It's not going to show mm -hmm. all of the curves that we're trying to. Now I will say the longer baby dolls that go to the floor are really fun to play with because uh, we can do like a peekaboo leg or like the jackets. Yeah. Well, jacket. It's not a jacket. The little sheer they go to the floor, Ooh, like yes. a duster, you know? Yes. Those are okay. really pretty. Those too. are very good, very good thought. Yes. Um, any kind of like robe. It was almost like a robe. Yeah. But like, it's like sheer. Sheer, yeah. lacy, see through. There's so many different kinds. Mm -hmm. um, so when we're looking at teddies versus baby dolls, I'm not going to judge you for bringing a baby doll, but I'm just going to say teddies are where it's at. And, and 1995 is no longer. Yes. And if it's, um, if you look at your lingerie and it's really old and it's torn or it just doesn't look new anymore, I would just go ahead and leave that at home. Um, we have so many different options in the client wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Um, I would just, yeah, don't stress yourself out. Don't stress we don't need 20 year old laundry. You don't no. need 20 year old. Laundry. You don't. Yeah. You deserve, <laughs> you deserve 20, at least 2019 laundry. Right? Or for real though. I mean, okay. Um, let's talk about straps. So anytime you're buying a piece of lingerie that has straps on, I'm always mm -hmm. going to opt for larger straps. Mm -hmm. Thinner straps tend to just pinch into our skin and make us look like we have more rolls. Now rolls are very natural. Anytime I have you like doing some weird pose, it's just natural to have a roll where it's skin. It's I was going to say some of it's not even fat. Some of it's just skin. It's literally skin. Yeah. But some people get really um, triggered mm -hmm. by seeing pictures of themselves with rolls when it's like, well, that's like our natural body and right. everybody has it. Right. So just anytime you're shopping, making sure that you're going for a larger strap whenever it's a strappy piece that's going to be really clinging mm -hmm. into your body. So panty lines, like when we were talking about two pieces, if you have, um, some of them like do a crisscross thing around the hips. If they're really skinny line, they're just going to squeeze you and you're not going to like it at all. Mm -hmm. So this is just an idea, something to keep in mind when you're shopping. It's like, okay, that's a thinner strap. That's probably not going to be as accentuating for our curves, but you brought up a really good point. Yeah. So when you're shopping for your lingerie in general, um, look for, like, especially when you're getting ideas online, look for women that have similar body styles to you. If you have double D boobs and no butt, find a model that has double D boobs and no butt. If you have no boobs and an extra large hiney, find a model that looks like that. Um, I'm five, two, five, two and a half on a good day. I'm very curvy. My, mm -hmm. my, I always have to have different size in my top than my bottom, but I have no boobs. Like none. So I'm not going to go. Savannah buy calls it. it. <laughs> My rocks with socks. Oh yeah, I have socks with rocks, y'all. <laughs> um, but if, um, if I'm going to go looking for laundry, like I'm not going to go to the Victoria's Secret website where every girl has perfect fake double D boobs right here. I don't have that. So that bra is not going to look like that on me. Such a good point. Such a good so, point. And especially with curvier girls. 
I have I have been much curvier and heavier than I am now so I've dressed my body for different mm -hmm. sizes and weights and definitely especially with lingerie do not let the lingerie wear you you want to be wearing your your outfits yes. don't let your outfits wear you and what I mean by that is like what Ashley was just talking about with straps if we've got straps that are you know digging into us and creating these you know rolls and curvatures and things that don't actually exist on our body that is that article of clothing wearing you whenever you can put something on and it just looks like it was made for you yes. that's when you are wearing the yes. outfit so if you can find people that have a similar body style yes you're gonna end up with items that are more very much geared for you and your body. And while we're speaking on like sh online shopping for your body mm -hmm. style, reading reviews is really, especially for yes. shoes, read reviews, read reviews, see what other people have taken that pictures in that and mm -hmm. see how they looked and compare it to your body. Yep. So you can see, okay, I think this might look good on me because I, I, I don't hate it when people bring stuff that they don't like, but cause they donate it. And then right. when it's donated, other women get the opportunity to try something right. new. But, um, while also while you're online shopping, um, crotchless might pop up mm -hmm. for you. And, and we were talking about this earlier today. Um, crotchless, I don't care. I'm not worried about it. If it makes you insecure, you can wear a nude thong if you accidentally buy a piece. But also- so We have had a few of those girls yes. that have said, I didn't mean for this yeah. to be crotchless, this that's crotchless. Never my intention. But in my personal opinion, if you are a person who likes to be intimate, I have been recently buying lingerie for myself that is crotchless because if I'm gonna take the time to put it right. on, I want to enjoy it. So just know that there's nothing wrong with bringing that piece in and like taking it home and being intimate with your partner. Mm -hmm. um, I have found a lot yeah, of I'm joy in some crotchless yeah. lingerie now. I got a lot of lingerie that I don't wear because <laughs> Why it just put it seems on? pointless. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on to take it off, uh -huh. and I feel like a lot of women feel like that. Yeah. And ever since, like, and and I'm especially when we're moms and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like, I don't have time for that. No, was the lunch made? Yeah, is there clean clothes at the dryer? Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, but like when I put this on, and then I have I'm intimate with my partner. Like I'm looking down, and I'm like, damn, I look good. Like she said, yeah. these titties look good. Yeah, I'm like double chin and all. Like, look at these. <laughs> Which speaking of boobs, while you are shopping online. Depending on your breasts, whether they are fake and they don't need support or do they need support? Like they're oh, a little bit more yeah. saggy. Underwire is huge for that. So mm -hmm. you need to look at your body, your breasts. Do they need the support or do are they good? Like, are they just perky? Like, mm -hmm. so Or are they not perky, but you don't want them to have support? Because that, yeah. that's me. Mm -hmm. Like my boobs are not perky, but I also don't. Yeah. I do not wear push-up yeah. bras, nor do I want my titties up to my face. Yes. But that's like a personal thing for me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So whatever feels good for you. Yes. No absolutely. boobs are wrong. Um, we talked about straps, uh, two pieces. So mm -hmm. whenever you're looking at two pieces, again, watching for the crotchless, if that makes you insecure, a lot mm -hmm. of times you won't know it unless you've read the details. Yep. So, um, but also with the straps on the sides, again, with the thicker straps, it's going to be more ideal, honestly, for almost anyone, unless you're like a twig. And going um, with high waist. Yes, mm -hmm. high waisted is a must. I would say ninety five percent of my clients are tummy conscious and a little worried, like regardless most, of their size. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I'm like I'm a mom and I've had a baby mm -hmm. and my tummy is not the same as when it. And, and even for my clients that have not had children, right? We just I think that that's generally where we like find a little bit more weight. Well, yeah, and I just think like you could probably pull a hundred women, and I would say ninety eight of them would say they, they have issues with their yeah. stomach. Or Regardless it, yeah. of what size they yeah, are. Yeah, <laughs> truly though, truly. And so keeping with the high-waisted, and then when it comes to the back of the, like if it's a two-piece and it's like a thong on the back, mm -hmm. make sure it's not the T. If you can find one that comes to a wide, now if you found a piece that you really, really like, and you like love the top but the bottom is a T, that's okay. You can go with a different style thong, maybe that you bought from like Target or something like mm -hmm. that. That's just a very simple, not a lot of intricate detail. Mm -hmm. So there's always ways that you can work around that. But these, I'm just trying to give you like things to think about while you're shopping. Right. Um, for that, was there? Was I there think any? that was it. Oh, then we were gonna. Yep. We were gonna do. Ro we did robes. Yeah, we were gonna do um, prepping your body and skin and all yeah. that, but on a different one. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for joining us. I hope this helps you in your shopping journey. Yes. Don't forget to look for your body style. I've got emails that are going to come to you that'll help prep you on mm -hmm. websites you can shop on. Um, and then I do have the client wardrobe. I always send that. That's pretty much one of the first things that I send to you so you can see what pieces that I have and it's actual real women, real past yeah. clients of mine. So you can see, again, what's your body size? Yeah. What's your body size? What is your and body we have, like? We have had 
every shape and size in this studio. Yeah, because like, I have literally I have I have a client wardrobe from extra small mm -hmm. to four X. Mm -hmm. And don't think that just my 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 curvy clients are the ones that are self conscious because I have a lot of little bitty clients that get ridiculed all the time. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go eat a cheeseburger? Yep. And they they can't put on weight. So just know that. We understand and we are accepting of all body styles, all body types, no judgment. This is a comfortable zone and for And whatever you. feels correct for you. Yes. And sometimes when we're embarking on something new, we don't know. Yeah. And that's okay. And that's why we're here. That's why Ashley sends out the guides and the information that she does. That's why there's a client closet. It's okay. We don't want you stressed though. Yeah. Like this is supposed to be a time for healing and restoration and seeing yourself in a different light. Yes. And so we don't want to bring the daily stressors of decision making and all that into it. So we try to do what we can to alleviate that from it. But I just feel like just because we're women and we're hard on ourselves yep. is a good reminder. But like we got gotcha. you. Yeah, we Don't got you. Stress. You can see the client wardrobe if yeah. you're if you're open to trying something new. I have a ton of like strappier pieces, maybe a little bit darker mm -hmm. pieces. If you're kind of you know want to explore a little bit, we're here for you. So, yeah. um, thanks for joining us. Yes. Bye. See ya.